Good morning, Glories. It's your girl, Monique, and I have realized that I really haven't made any videos in probably like, what, maybe three weeks or so. It's just been raining so crazily here in Georgia, and I've noticed a few other gardeners haven't really put up any videos either, and so, yeah, the weather's just been really crazy and not really compatible with filming, but I thought today would be a good day to kind of come out here and show you all how everything is progressing. And so well, let's go ahead and take a sip of coffee. And this is my first sip of the day. Mmm, so, so, so good. So it looks like our fern is doing really good. Both ferns actually. So let's step out here. And this is what you see as soon as you come out on the patio. This fern has basically tripled in size. I don't do anything special to it. I just water it. <laughs> and obviously God has watered it all summer long. So she is just gigantic. A gigantic fern. And so, go ahead and come out here. I do not know what this is. However, it's very, very tropical. Some years it blooms yellow flowers. This year, not so much, but she's really, really beautiful. Um, our cannas are doing good. They've been flowering all throughout the summer, and I just love them. I really brought you all out here to see my black-eyed Susans. I have to be careful where I step because, you know, this is nature. <laughs> and so this is kind of what everything's looking like, nice and luscious. Everything is so beautiful. All right. So let's go ahead and come over here. So we're going to look at the sugar babies and we're going to look at the black eyed Susan. So here's the rainbow garden. Uh, there's another fern. Some noisy old bugs. And I don't want to get too close to the sugar baby bees because I see over here on the watermelon, I mean in the cantaloupe area, there's this gigantic bee. But the sugar babies are doing really, really good. They're in this basket here. And so, let me kind of bring you down if you can see a couple there. And then I put like a little covering over them. I really don't want to get close because my mom just got stung by a bee this week. So, um, let's go ahead and just try in the name of Jesus. All right, let me bring you closer here. There's the sugar babies. I counted about nine of them. And they're doing really, really good. All right. There I go. Does that cover? And then we've got some more sugar babies in this little container, more cantaloupe. But I brought you out here so we could look at the black eyed Susans. And actually, another azalea bush is blooming. She blooms about three times a year. So this is her second bloom. And I'm really, really happy with how she's looking. But here are the black eyed Susans. Really pretty, huh? So yeah, baby dolls, this is what's going on thus far. A little bit in the uh, backyard oasis. Go ahead and do a little walk through over here. Lots of things that I've planted are doing good. This was my sunflower area and it's definitely done, but there's an angel trumpet over there. She's doing good. She was just a little baby. Here's our basket garden. And then here are some of these little bushes that have little yellow flowers on them. Our basket's looking good. A random piece of corn is coming up. And let's just go ahead and come around here. Everything is looking good. Here's some 
nasturtiums. Y'all remember when we first planted these? And there's another angel trumpet. Lots and lots of things. Zinnias are coming up nicely. I do have to deadhead a lot, but I haven't really been out here. Like I said, in a couple weeks, I've not done anything. I've just been on vacation. Um, then we have some random flowers here. These come up every year. I don't know what these are. I'm gonna have to really research it. Excuse me, but they are all over my yard. All over. Kind of like a ground cover. Lots of lantana. I'll put some black eyed Susans in here. There is a canna that I planted here this year. This is like something, not catnip, but cat's meow or something. I got this from Walmart and I planted it all over. And so, wow, everything's just looking so pretty. And it looks really beautiful at night, too. And here's this other little garden. Ever since he did a little bit of weeding here, it looks much better. But when he comes in another week, I'm going to actually have him do more weeding for me. There's our little bistro area. And then another little area over there. So, uh, that's one of my crepe myrtle trees right here. She doesn't really have a lot of blooms, and so I'm thinking I may have to cut her down in the fall. Not all the way down, but just cut some of the branches down so she can maybe be a little bit more flourishing. So anyway, baby dolls, this is it. I hope that everybody's having a fantastic summer. I'm having a good summer. I love you, but God loves you so much more. Remember that pretty is pretty does. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.